Good morning and welcome to the hills, or I'm still sort of in the town, um, behind Morven and based there is Morgan Cars. So I popped down today to drive two cars and this is the first of those cars. It's a Morgan three-wheeler. Now this car came out, I think it's about eight years ago and when it came out it was I just remember being like, what the hell, is this? it's got three wheels, it looks so mental, you see them in loads of cool colours, they've got stickers on them, they just look like a lot of fun and, and I've really wanted to drive one for a long time now. It's, the car has evolved a little bit, since then uh, some of the engineering has changed and updates and stuff like that and here we have a brand new three wheeler and this car has, well pretty much, it's got 160 miles on it. I've come down, had a little look around the factory, and then I'm going to have a look around this car. But it's roughly 80 horsepower. This car in particular has a, it's a stage one kit. Now, it's not something you can order from the factory, but you can have retrofitted in it. They do uh, intakes, ECU change, and exhaust. It puts the horsepower up a little bit, but it's meant to improve throttle response. And <laughs> from the, the couple of minutes, just literally just driving up this little road to get to here, it's uh it's pretty loud very much sounds like that sort of harley motorbike noise now the engine is a two liter sns v twin uh it's a bit like a harley engine very similar and it sounds pretty raucous so i'm gonna have a little let's have a little look around the car and then let's go for the uh, my first drive and i want to sort of run you through if you can hear me i don't know of what it's like to drive a morgan first morgan three-wheeler for the first time. Okay, walking around the car, car, is it car? Is it a motorbike? I think it's legally somewhere in the middle. Um, it, when, when it goes to America, they actually ship them with these lights mounted here because there's some uh, legal stuff that if it's a motorbike, which it is in the States, the lights have to be inside of the engine, which is works on a normal motorbike, but because of that, it means that all the American ones ship with the lights here. And then I think after the fact, you can move them back out to their normal place. But it has these two pretty skinny front tires and then one big engineering nightmare to get the power from the motorbike engine through to the back wheel. So there's a, there's a, there's a device in the middle that basically changes the power output of the V-twin to make it smoother for a traditional gearbox. So we've got a Mazda MX-5 gearbox and then it runs through and then under, under there, you can see the single wheel and there's a, it's belt driven. And what that means is when you put your foot down, the rear doesn't have that much grip. So you can light up the rears pretty easily. Looking around the cabin, we've got, got all my stuff in here. Because lovely quilted seats, little steering wheel. This is detachable. When you pick up the car from factory, they just screw in this little screw down there that stops you taking it off. But when you get it home, you can take it off. Um, the startup procedure for the car is quite fun. It's this, I think it's a, is it a Eurofighter starter switch? It's something like that. And it makes a great noise. And then you just press that button to fire up the engine. And we've got the speedo, revs, um, fog lights, side lights, main light, main beam, emergency light, horn, the gearbox, which already feels pretty sweet. And then we have a fly off handbrake. So you have to pull it back, this bit pops up and then you just let go and it flies off. And, and that is about it. We have a, a 12 volt socket under there. Uh, there's a little lock box down there. There's also some space under here, a little bit of space and then your fuel tank. And then obviously the exhaust running down the side, but I think it is time to get in the car, fire it up, go for a drive and see what it's like. Flick off the handbrake, that's recording. <laughs> Already, I've driven like two meters.
in your face, just rah! <laughs> oh wow, the gearbox is this MX-5 gearbox is uh, is lovely actually. It just it's very direct. Boom, 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 boom. is completely dominated by its powertrain in this guise. I I almost think it's too much. It is it's insane. <laughs> well, number one, what do you expect from a car like this? And I think it's to put a smile on your face. And it has done that straight away. The, let's run through the touch points. So the pedals are these tiny little pedals. It's a very, you just short blips of the throttle and you're changed down a gear. It's very responsive. No turbochargers in this car. And then we run up to the steering wheel. Steering wheel's small, but sort of padded a little bit. It's quite comfy, feels nice, like nice leather. And then we've got all the sort of switches in here. We've got the little indicator, that's about all you've got. This little stalk that you push down, and then you push down against cancel, you push up and up against cancel. The gear stick, as I've talked about, is this little MX-5 one, and it's, it works perfectly. It's just like doosh, 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 through the gears. The fly-up handbrake does its thing. You can flip through the gears, no problem. Oh, brakes. I wouldn't say like, super strong, but this is not the car for dynamically pushing everything. It definitely feels like it's fun to drive, but you're not going to be pushing it for like 10 tenths anywhere. I don't think you can hear me. Something that this car is already excelling at beyond everything is I'm going 30 miles an hour and I've got a massive smile on my face. I'm having fun. And it's just such a different experience to other cars. I, don't, I think I'm, I'm talking to the guys at Morgan. They, people buy these cars and then go and do crazy stuff with them. I don't know whether I'm that person. But wow, it's, it's just fun. It's just fun. It's just still fun in a silly platform. It doesn't make any sense which I think is why it makes so much sense. Oh, we've got a demon trick inside. So what does that mean? Maybe down a little bit.
rage, so it's kind of rage most of the time, but... I, <laughs> I think this sort of road is the road for it, really. And a tight... You can't, can't be able to hear me. And a tight, small, windy British back road. I think you can bumble the line and cruise. I don't think I necessarily want to go on a motorway, but people do. Oh yes, it sort of understeers a little bit. Tricky to get the, the nose in. It's certainly not the most dynamic of things. I wonder if you, yeah, if you, if you drive it in on the brakes, it's a bit better. Maybe even left foot brake a little bit. Yeah, that works. But it's not, I don't think it's necessarily about that. It's just about a smile on your face and 100% this car has put a smile on my face. Now it's time to go back, back to the factory, and I'm gonna go and pick up a different car, but that'll be in a different video. Whoa, this is a lot of fun, a lot of fun. It makes absolutely no sense, but I think that's why it makes so much sense in 2019, when all these cars are so digital and so, Ah, oh, just so easy to drive and everything. This is like, this is just completely the opposite. Oh, it's a good car. Oh, and that's it. Dropping off, off back at the Morgan. Oh, that was a wicked fun car. Oh, right, you can see on the smart by the smile on my face. I've just been grinning ear to ear for the last half an hour. It's, it sort of works. It just works. I don't. I can't explain why. It's just now there aren't many cars that deliver a unique experience, and this is definitely one of them. It's it's sort of similar to the Caterhams of this world, but also completely different. It feels a bit more luxurious, but then the handling is very different. It's it's a bit more sort of like plush and cruisy rather than a ripping because of the just the, the handling dynamics. But having the single rear wheel. You just like go around a corner and just poof, blat it out of a roundabout or whatever, and it just comes out. It's it's pretty hilarious. But then as you go faster, it gets a bit more stable, and I'd say leans in towards understeer rather than oversteer. But it's just a lot of fun. If it's something you're interested in, I would a hundred percent try and come down to the factory, uh, try and take one out for a drive, and um, yeah, that was wicked, wicked, wicked fun. Thanks very much, Morgan Motorcars.